before I get started, how's everybody doing out there today? This is going to be a software review on a Sony Cybershot W290 digital camera, which I have right here in my hand. There's the front of it, there's the back of it, and there's the top of it. I'm doing this review because I've been doing other softwares and a lot of people are commenting on my Sony digital camera of buying it, not buying it, and so on. So by me doing the software review it may change your mind in a, in a good way and, and owning it. So let's get started with the software that it will come with. It's the Sony cyber shot it's good for these models shown DSC W270 W275 and the current W290 cyber shot application software cyber shot handbook etc etc on this side here you have which is PMB picture motion browser version you can see that I think I don't need to really say it but 4.2.02 for Cybershot for Windows music transfer Windows and Macintosh Cybershot handbook step up guide and pro product registration and that's about it for this. And on the bottom here, it states that Windows XP, I only use and not gonna, going to be using SP Service Pack 3. But bottom line is Windows Vista, Service Pack 1, Mac, Operating System X, 64-bit edition, and Starter Edition are not supported. Again, if this makes any sense to me, Service Pack 3, Windows Vista, Service Pack 1, Mac Operating, X, 64-bit okay, 64 edition and starter edition are not supported. So let's get started on the software. First one I'm going to pull up is going to be on the list. Right here you can see. Oh, sorry for that. PMB. Zoom out. Click on this. Let's make it a little bigger because I am using a 17 inch laptop screen. Okay. I have not used this. Okay, so I don't want to waste time. There's so much. I have to probably break this down into different segments of reviews. So, on the top here, like, like always, you have your you have your file. Okay, it got too close there. So I'm not gonna be playing around with this because I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't want to, you know, confuse you guys out there. You got file, and you got all this stuff here. Import media files. All the stuff listed here is not really for movies or picture use. Edit. You got this stuff here. Sorry for that. Very sensitive computer and mouse. Um, rotate clock counterclockwise. Rotate clockwise. Copy the folder, etc., etc. Don't want to waste time on that because you'll learn it on your own. You got calendar view, folder view, group by, display, file type, expand videos. Remember what that does. Okay, that does something for videos, thumbnails, details, filter, face search, show hidden media files, move and refresh page. This is now, um, this is called I don't know what that stands for, I don't know what that word is. Man, peel something. Well, anyway, what you do with this is you can video, view, edit, 
media file, slideshow, email file, media service, um, batch date change, resize and save, set a desktop desktop background, export, export to Cybershot or to Cybershot album, photo album, library supported or memory card. Open with ex external program. Select external program. Convert to WMV and save. There you go. That might be helpful. So if you're doing a video, you can use this gigantic. If you if you see me open it, that just gigantic page, and access your converting. You can trim your video. Date disk creation. Movie tracer. Map view, which is pretty cool. See what that looks like. I seen this being I seen this being done a lot. Google search I mean Google Map does this. You can take a picture and po and paste it on the map. I think that's what it's for. So if I'm taking a video of Easton like I've been doing, I can just take a photo and copy it right on to wherever I am. Let's see this okay, it takes a little bit of time. See? There's some recent pictures of Easton I took. This, these pictures can be somehow copied and pasted on to your location. I'm taking it as that's what you do. I'm not sure. We'll close that out. We'll go back to up here like I was saying. So we've done map view, analyze, media files again. Move over to tools. And you have your analyze all the content, update database, start media checking, setting, easy export settings, and so on. Now you can see it has a 2009 folder already made itself and has 61, I say, pictures. That's where it is. That's the pictures I took. So there's 61 pictures of Easton. And I took them all in the month of, I'll show it to you right now of August and you can see them they're all posted in the calendar there's August right here I have nothing I, I didn't do any for July or June or May you can see and let me go back up here and show you some other things before I get to that if I have enough time in this one review on this one and and wait a minute let me get this focused in I'm sorry for that come on now this is going to be import video import media files click on it that's what you do with that not much do well I'm not going to say not much but I don't want to waste time on that next one is going to be this focuses correctly I can get something done maybe today that is nothing Register a folder to view. Print. Create a DVD. Email. A file. Export. Media to camera. Rotate count counterclockwise, etc., 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 etc. Okay, it's gonna take care of this. And what we got here now? Up to nine minutes. Open with external program. Media service, movie tracer I can't use, I'm no movie, map view like I discussed, and right here I'm going to show you for August, if I click on this right here, this these photos, open up, right there. It repeats himself in the calendar. And I also did some on the 30th. So let's take a look at these. Let's just click on this. There you go. Oh. Okay. Pretty cool. There's a lot to it, guys. Believe me. I mean, look at all these little thumbnail pictures I have here. You can edit. 
you can do everything you can edit up here you can edit your movies with the software and that's about it for this program PMB